Hi guys, let's design the sentiment in Microsoft Word. Okay, so I have Microsoft Word open here. I'm going to insert a text box. Just a simple text box. And I'm just going to put B, my. And I'm going to copy that text box. And make a copy of it. And I'm going to type Valentine in this one. Now, I have my word open just as large as a size of print and paper will be. You see how that's perfect there? So, if I mock up my die cut, I could see that this will fit inside of it. I just have to get my words to fit in here so that I'll be able to design it how I want to. So let's find a really pretty font for Valentine, something with a really nice V. I like this one. I'm going to make it as large as I can to fit into this. You see, I can make it so much larger. So let's try maybe 28. Um, let's see how another font looks as well. This, that's pretty. Let me check. Oh, I like that. It's very clear. Let's check Clara. That's nice. Oh, I like this one. I like the V in this one. So, um, B my is going to be just really plain, um, writing. Right. But my old style is fine. Let's try to make that maybe 16. And I'm going to make the Valentine really big. Like maybe a 36. Let me see if it'll fit. It can be so much bigger. Right. So I'm going to try to get the B my in this little space on top here. Hope you can see well. Let me take you a little closer. All right. So I'm going to first make these text boxes. I'm formatting the auto shape and making them have no color and no line or no fill, I should say. So that's okay. So now it's it's basically see through. And I'm going to also do the same to this one. Right. So now I can bring this down. Maybe I'll try another font. I need a font that has like a really nice big T. Let's check some other fonts. Dark light. Oh, that's so nice. Credentials. Oh, curls. Oh, that's nice. If I make this maybe 44. Right, and then I could put the be my. See what I'm doing here? I could put the be my right here. Maybe out of oh, that looks cute, don't you think so? I think it looks cute. Let's center it, and we can bring it down like a notch. Right, so now we can see if it'll fit in here, and it won't, so we need it to be a little bit smaller. Maybe let's put it at 40. Right, and therefore the BMI will have to move across a little bit. Right, let's see. Perfect. That's going to fit, so I'm going to print that.